Hi everybody, Steven here. So you want to deploy VMware Cloud Foundation in your lab environment, but as you know, the management domain needs a three node NSX manager cluster. Well, how do we deploy it with a single node? Well, stick around and I'm gonna show you. Hi everyone, thanks for sticking around. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how you can deploy uh, your management domain um, with only a single NSX manager node in it. Now, word of advice here, not supported in production. Do not do this in production, folks, All right? This, I'm doing this in my lab environment, obviously to save CPU and memory resources, okay? Um, it involves um, uh, setting up a JSON file. So anyways, now before we jump into it, I always like to throw this out. Uh, for those of you that subscribe to the th channel, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Two thumbs up to you. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, again, um, please support the channel, it's free, just click on that subscribe button, right? Um, I, uh, there's a lot of people watching that are not subscribed to it, so I really need you to, to click on that button to, to help out. Uh, another way to help out, again, is super thanks for those of you that have done that already. Again, two thumbs up, really appreciate that. Enough of that, let's jump right into it. Let's get to my desktop here. So I've got my cloud builder deployed. Um, if you watched my other video on uh, running the bring up, bring up process, setting up our management domain, I'll leave a link for that up here, okay? Um, um, I've got my cloud builder deployed and what we need to do again as we know the spreadsheet uh, doesn't give you an option to say I want a single NSX manager so you need to convert that spreadsheet into a JSON file and how do you do that well the um, the cloud builder appliance actually has a generator in there so let's let's SSH into this right so first of all um, I'm going to uh, run WinSCP. What I need to do is transfer over my uh, Excel spreadsheet that we've done, okay? If you've watched my last few videos, you'll see that I've, I filled that out, so you can watch those. Um, so I'm going to need to transfer this spreadsheet over to the uh, uh, Cloud Builder appliance. So I'm going to use WinSCP, so I'm just going to double click here. And I've already got a Cloud Builder, I'm going to log in. Yep and update whatever in my password I think I, well, I think I might have fat fingered that let's try that again all right so right now I'm logged in as admin I'm in the min home directory so I'm just gonna uh, go over and let's uh, get my D drive here let's copy over that spreadsheet VCF 50 D okay so I copied the spreadsheet over to cloud builder Let's SSH into this right now. So Cloud Builder, I'll accept that. And I'm gonna log in as admin. I'm gonna log in with my password. And there we go. Now, for those of you who've been watching my channel, you always know I like to change the, uh, the settings here, especially on the appearance. So we'll change the font size a little bigger so you folks can see it better. And I always like to do the color thing as well. Uh, default background, modify. And we'll do something like that. That looks good. We'll apply it and away we go. Let's just open this up a bit bigger. And where's my WinSCP window? Just want to bring that up so I could see that maybe over here. Great. So um, if I type in print working directory, I'm in the admin home directory. If I do a ls-l long listing, I see there's my there's my file there that I copied. So I need to convert that over, right? So there's a utility. I don't memorize the folders here, but there's a utility under opt slash VMware slash SDTC. Um, oops. Opt slash VMware SDTC. And if I look in here, if I do a long listing here, there's a utility here, this SOS utility. Services, support and serviceability right and if you'll notice here if you're Linux folks you'll recognize this these are the permissions on it so you see R R W that means read write permissions and execute permissions it means I'm about to execute it so if it's a program and that's for the owner of the file those the first three is for the owner the next one it says R and then there's it's missing all the other stuff that's for the group and then the other where there's nothing there means other anybody else so nobody could do anything with this anybody in the group the root group 
can read the file, but only the root user can exit execute it. So I'm the admin user. I'm not going to be able to execute this file. Um, let's bring this down a bit. If I type dot slash sos permissions denied, right? So I need to change into the, like the root user. So I'm just going to type in su, and then I'm going to log in with the root user account. And away you go. You see my prompt has changed here. So I can now actually run this program if I want to, right? Um, now, what I need to do is uh, run this. I'm going to say dot so, um, uh, SOS, and then I want to invoke the JSON generator. Right, hopefully I get that right, JSON generator. So I want to invoke that, and then I, I need to specify an input, which would be my spreadsheet. Then I need to specify an output, which would be the JSON file. So I'll type dash dash JSON generator dash input. I don't have this command memorized. Input. Boy, I can't type today, folks. Input. And then I need to type in the, um, okay, so I, since I changed my directory, I need to type in slash home slash admin slash the name of that file, which is up there on the top, vcf 50 Steve dot xlsx. It's so great. So that's the input. Then I'm going to go dash dash json generator dash so I need to specify the 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 output now, right? Uh, so JSON generator dash design, and then I'm just going to specify the file. I'll call this um, okay. How about uh, yeah, VCF VCF five O dash Steve, right? And that will be a JSON file. So hopefully, I didn't make any typos here. I'm going to hit enter. It's spewing back a bunch of stuff on the screen. And great, that's it. <laughs> it didn't seem that difficult. Now it, draw, it, it it placed it into a subdirectory, right? So if I change my directory in slash opt, slash um, VMware, slash SDDC, slash cloud, and then resources, I think that's it. If I do ls, slash l there, actually, just do an ls. You'll see there's a directory You'll see there's a directory there, VCF50 Steve. It's in blue. Probably not the greatest background for me to pick for this demo. But, anyways, so I'm going to change in that directory, CD space VCF. And if I do an ls l, long listing, you'll see that there's a file there, right there, VCF50 Steve.json. So I need to copy that off, right? So I'm just going to, since I'm, um, I'm already logged in as admin on my, um, with WinSEP, I'm just going to go. Uh, I could copy the file or move it. I'll do move um, VCF VCF Steve to root sorry root home slash admin. There we go. Great. So now that we've got that there, let's go back in. To, let's just validate. Let's go up to CD root home admin. This is the administrator's home directory, and you'll see that the file is there. So you'll see I have my spreadsheet which we copied, and you'll see there's the new JSON file. Great, let me just refresh this here. Is that the refresh button? I think that is. No, it's the wrong button I pressed. Come on. There we go. So there's the JSON file. I'm going to copy it over to here. And you see there's a VCF50 Steve.json. You'll see there's another JSON file there. I was playing with that stuff earlier on for my, my environment um, a few weeks back. You can see the date stamps. I'm done. All right, so let's, I don't need this anymore. Let me kill this, okay? I don't need that anymore. Let me kill this. And yeah, whatever, just terminate it. Okay, so I need to, I'm editing this from a different machine here. Uh, here's that one that I actually did. So let's right click on that, open it with Notepad++. And you can see, again, with the, um, with the, um, uh, JSON format, you can actually get really advanced and do a lot of advanced settings if you want to. You see stuff for management, vMotion, vSAN, right? But you can also mess things up too. So you've got to be very careful here, right? Uh, so you'll see there's a section here for NSX, and it's deploying to the small. Uh, you'll see there's NSX managers one, two, and three that, again, what I had set up on my spreadsheet for my other one. So I'm going to get rid of everything below here. Um, 
set should be it. Yeah. So I got a open bracket and a section manager one, close bracket right there. So that lines up. So let's uh, save this. File save. And I am pretty much done at that point. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is bring it into Cloud Builder. And let's just go into Cloud Builder, site A Cloud Builder. I'm going to log into my Cloud Builder. I know I don't want to save that. That was for me doing some other messing around. Let me go back. Let's go next. Let's select my file. Let's go to, um, there's the JSON file I made, right? So I'm not picking a spreadsheet, I'm picking the JSON file. I'll go, oops, I already selected the file, let's cancel that. So you see uh, BCF Steve, right? Click next. And at that point, it's gonna go through and validate it. I won't let you watch this, it's boring. We'll just make sure it comes through, okay? So we'll see you back. Hi everybody, we are back. We can see it successfully deployed. Um, it only took for a couple seconds for you folks, but about three hours for me. Um, let me just uh, do something here. Let's uh, click on the vCenter appliance. It's logged me in. Um, <clears throat> you see, I've got some alerts and stuff like that. I'm going to ignore those. I'm in a nested environment, so that's why I'm getting weird stuff like that. But again, if I open up my uh, resource pool uh, that's created when I selected, I was doing a consolidated install. You see, there's only a single NSX manager VM here. There's my SDDC manager and my vCenter appliance. So that's it. Remember, it doesn't work. It, it's not supported in production, but it's good for a lab environment where you're really low on resources. One thing I will say about this little word to the wise, and I'll do a video on this. You want to make sure you're doing regular backups of your, um, of your NSX manager. Um, I haven't done enough messing with the SDDC manager, but I know if you've got a single NSX manager and if it gets corrupted, you're pretty much in trouble, okay? So you wanna make sure you got regular backups of that. Uh, but that's it, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, hit a thumbs up if you felt this entertaining or at all. Um, also, last thing, any questions, comments, concerns, anything you wanna see in the future, leave them down below in the comment section. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day, bye now.